Hola, and welcome to Kim at Home. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. As you can see, we're gonna jump right into it. I just got a delivery and I wanna show you what I received. A few months ago, I replaced the under cabinet lighting on one side of my cabinets. So I wanna do the other side now. So I ordered these off Amazon. If you're interested, I will leave the link below in the description box. I wanted to make sure that I cleaned the space prior to putting the um, lights up. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly, truly appreciate you. Before you leave out, please do not forget to hit that red subscribe button, smash the bell, and hit the like button as well. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. We are called the Keep Up Crew. My goal is to provide you with tips and tricks on how to keep your house clean throughout the week so that you're not spending your entire weekend cleaning. We do so much during the week and there's so much hustle and bustle that, you know, if you're spending your entire weekend cleaning, it can be overwhelming. We should be spending time with our families. And I'm sure for some of us that is very, very relatable because it sometimes feels like we don't have enough time in the day to do the things that we need to do. In my videos, I love to share the tips that I use throughout the week that help me keep my house in order, help me keep everything else in order as well. So I'm not spending the entire weekend trying to clean my house and trying to catch up on everything else at the same time. So the lighting is gonna be for the under under the cabinets on this side. It's unfortunate that I can't use the strip light that I used on the other side. So I have these pucks. They take four AAA batteries. They're battery operated, but you can tell that they're dim right now because they need new batteries. So instead of doing four, eight, 12 batteries, I bought some new lights from Amazon. These lights take batteries too but they have a rechargeable cord, whereas the other lights do not. Really sleek and simple and thin, so you won't even be able to tell that it's underneath your cabinets. Let's see how it looks. It is LED, bright white, because I love the daylight bright white. So on the box, it said it did not come with batteries, but it does, and look how bright it is. Ooh. Kind of reminds me of like Star Wars or Star Trek or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I will not be screwing this into the uh, bottom of my cabinet. Not at all, period, point blank. There is <laughs> a sort of like a command strip here. So I'm gonna use that in order for the light to be attached to the cabinet. First things first, let's clean the space. Let me just tell you, these command strips, they work good because I can't even take this one off. So I guess I'm gonna have to put the new one like right here or something. The puck light that's already there, they were all attached with command strips as well. Something about these lights, they have different settings. So you can change it from one brightness, come back to another just by clicking a button. How about that? I feel like a little kid in a candy shop. Okay, so I have the light installed. It's super bright, I love it. Like I said, there are three settings. You can do warm, bright, or ultra bright. Here is what the under cabinet lighting looks like without the new light. Big difference, right? That's when you're gonna start to see here's the last one, and I'm just realizing there's like a little flip here in order to get everything off all at once. Yeah, I always do things the hard way. It's called Read the Directions, Kim. Okay, so I'm guilty of getting excited and not reading the directions. Let me know in the comments if you're that way as well. Looks good. Let me show you guys all the different settings. I'm setting all three lights at a different setting. From here, you can definitely tell the difference in the different styles of lighting, whether it be a little bit warmer or a little bit brighter, but it looks really good. You can barely see that it's even there. But anyway, no one should be looking under my cabinets, right? <laughs> Every cabinet and closet in my house is a thorn in my side. So I have this stash in here in case there is a food shortage. You never know. And they have also been talking about it in the government that we may have some food shortages. I've already seen some things that are pretty gross in grocery stores now, like the fruit and the vegetables. They don't last long at all. I just wanna give it a really good wipe down. And then I'll organize everything that I took off just a little bit better, not much better. <laughs> Organizing really is not my thing. However, I can clean the heck out of a house. <laughs> One thing you can make a habit of doing is checking the expiration anytime you are cleaning out your cabinets or cleaning out your refrigerator. I'm telling you, now's the time. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, but for Kim, every day is Mental Health Awareness. 
here are three easy tips for you to do if you're having like an overwhelming day to help you get through. Remember to do one thing at a time, create time for yourself to unwind. Be sure you say your affirmations, watch a relaxing movie, immerse yourself completely in the experience. That last one is what I love to do. Oh, and one more thing, when you say your affirmations, be sure to look in the mirror and say them as many times as it takes for you to fill it in the depths of your soul. The bottom shelf always gets like really, really dirty because we always keep like fruit and onions and garlic and stuff like that in there. So it gets pretty dirty. I'm gonna get this wiped up and I'm wiping everything down with vinegar. All of the cleaning products that I use are listed below in the description box. I will always do practical organizing, not Pinterest organizing. Here are the items that need to go to the trash. So as far as the cabinets and things like that, obviously I could go out and buy some baskets to organize better, but at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, you don't always have to spend money to organize. Sometimes just good old fashioned organization is all that it needs. When is the last time you disinfected your light switches, your remote controls, and like your steering wheel? Think about it, it's really, really gross. So I wanna just go around some of the areas in my home on the first floor and just take care of that. In the picture that I just showed you, I really got some inspiration. So I'm gonna show you what I worked on later. In my last video, I did mention that I wanted to start painting again. So I straightened up some areas in my garage so that I could obtain my paint quicker. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Good morning, it's the next day. Today we're supposed to be going to a international festival. However, it is raining outside. Since it's raining outside and we are not able to go to the festival, I decided that I was gonna clean some things in my bathroom, in my master bath. Every time I've gone in there, there's a weird smell. It smells like pee. So I started to like clean everything around the toilet, clean the walls, and the smell is still there. So now I gotta get rid of the smell because one thing about me, fun fact, I do not like smells. <laughs> so I'm about to handle this. Here are the cleaning products that I'm using. I got these reusable cloths. My mom bought these for me. Gloves, you obviously need a sponge. Mr. Clean Yellow Disinfectant Only. This is the vent fan above my toilet in my water room, and it's so dusty. It stays dusty, like everything else in my house, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that handled. In order to get rid of the smell, I'm going all in. I'm washing walls, I'm washing floors, I'm washing everything. I don't like stinky smells. I had to grab my handy dandy duster from Dollar Tree to get me started. You should definitely dust before wiping with any kind of wet cloth. One day I'll take off the cover and clean it. But today is not that day. You really have to know your limits and something that simple may not overwhelm you, but it's a lot for me because I got other things that I have to do, if that makes sense. Make sure you disinfect this really, really good because I'm sure there's pee back there. For some reason, I cannot get these off. My husband helped me last time and he was not here. However, I'm gonna show you guys, so trigger warning. There's some pee pee back there. So that's probably what I was smelling. Yeah, I'm gonna get that cleaned up. How are you doing? What's new since the last time we spoke? Leave a comment down below. You know I'm really interested. I've always loved networking with people, but now since all the things have happened in this world, it's even better that I can do it online. To sit for just a little bit, there's lots of disinfectant. Everything has been disinfected. I did not clean the entire toilet on camera because I think I probably gave y'all a heart attack <laughs> showing you the pee, even though that's life. But what I do wanna show you is all of the hair down here. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Let me get closer. Nice and clean, you guys. It smells amazing in here. So I'm thinking the issue was the toilet, but it's super clean now, so. These are nearly dry. As soon as they dry, I'm gonna clean out the bathtub. It was dirty earlier, so I just put some Mr. Clean in there to allow it to soak. I rinsed it out and there's no more probably pee residue. Like I know that's gross, <laughs> but it is what it is. All my closet, since everyone always thinks my house is so spotless, it's totally not. Everybody has a mess, right? And this, the closets, the cabinets, the, all that great stuff, that, those are my messes. So yeah, one day, one day I'll clean that um, closet out, but not right now. 
right now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe my cabinets down. I actually painted these cabinets last year with some furniture paint. On the paint it says that you can just wipe it off with water, but since this is a bathroom, come on now, we need some disinfectant. On to the next thing. I have all of my materials here that I'm going to be using. This is the dirt painting that Karia and I did like a month ago, probably longer, and I also painted that white. So now I wanna just, you know, break into my artistic mode and hook it up. For this project, it's funny because, oh, for my Pitha Owen mom, she actually did like some cement projects, which made me wanna play with cement. However, I'm just gonna use this instead for right now. For those of you who are not necessarily into painting or into creating art, just try it one day. You may love it, and it's also so soothing for the mind. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to allow it to dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna add some more. So you have to like build on the texture. Before adding any kind of additional texture to this, I'm going to scrape off the loose dirt that's basically already falling off. Is what this is looking like so far. Let that dry so the texture can build up on it. And I also want to add a little bit to here too. As you can see, when you do your abstract or textured painting, you can use any kind of tool that you want that's gonna add any kind of depth. I've seen people use forks, knives, all kinds of different things. So right now I'm just using a garden tool <laughs> and just the painter's stir stick. What's great about this is you can be creative in your own way, your own form, your own style. You have no rules. is the abstract art. I don't know if you guys were here for my last video. If not, I will be sure to link it. But I had stated that I wanted to start painting again. So I just wanted to start off with some abstract, easy abstract, because I wasn't even sure if I really, really wanted to use the yellow, but I'm really digging the yellow. I'm showing you all of the artwork that was completed because everyone decided to paint today, including my little two-year-old niece. This is a great activity that you can do with your kids during summer break. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration to be creative, have fun, and paint. This is the one that Nori did. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, right? Thank you again for watching. Bye guys.